Good morning. It's Monday morning and Sandy is raging outside. But while I still have electricity, I'm going to film today and hopefully Sandy will keep me with um, internet and electricity. So here's hoping for um, both internet and, and um, electricity. Um, be safe if you are in Sandy's path because she seems to be raging very much. She's raining. It's raining really hard here. And she's supposed to be going all the way up the East Coast. So, I'm going to go cook while I still have electricity and do all the things that I need to do today. Um, the good thing is I don't have to go into the office today. I don't have to work today. So, I have plenty of time to kind of go through and clean up and do whatever. I think I did everything I was supposed to do this morning in terms of, I mean, in terms of, um storm preparation prior to because I really expected to wake up today with like no electricity but so far so good and um but now I need to cook I need to cook some breakfast and I still want to make a few more things for um for me to eat assuming that I will lose electricity so if you see this vlog today that's really good because that means I've had, I have electricity and internet See you later. This is my uh, Spanish tortilla, and I made it with this um, this cookbook. It's um, I don't know who makes this book, but I think I I don't know. It's just some random cookbook that I got, um, and it's um, classic Spanish cooking. And one of the recipes that I bookmarked because I go through all my uh, recipes and bookmark them my all my cookbooks and bookmark them that I've always wanted to do was the I don't know if you can see it the tortilla espanola espanola nola I don't know whatever and that's what I decided to make and here it is and it looks pretty good it was easier than I thought it was one because I use a smaller pan than I thought I had to use so it looks pretty good and I'm gonna try it out and see if it actually tastes good and then but so far I think I got it so I think I can make this again which is good because I like finding um, different recipes to make that are relatively easy and quick and I don't have to think too hard to make them and the ingredients are very easy to um, to have that you that I usually have on hand at least I'm sitting here in I'm sitting here it's about 418 I still have electricity so I'm happy um I just finished eating a big bowl of pho my some my um, Sunday pho I'm eating my Monday portion <laughs> Kindle charging my iPhone charging my portable DVD ch charging and I'm playing on I'm enjoying my last few moments of having electricity because I swear I'm gonna lose electricity of course because I'm playing on losing electricity I probably will not lose electricity but I'm anticipating not having electricity so I am on Facebook on Twitter um, on Google talk with some of my friends you know we're just enjoying having electricity Talking about what's going on in your area. Da, 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 yeah. And so the bands are rotating counterclockwise. Look at Hurricane Sandy. Suburbs. It's pretty heavy band of rain. We're probably <sighs> one to two inches just with this band. It's pushing through the uh, the district right now. Heavy activity now sliding into Fairfax, out 66, out route 50, out route 7. This is just and so ridiculous. That was a cool visual. But it, Sandy is definitely here. I, it's been raining all day today. I don't know if you can hear it, but that is clearly, clearly, clearly. Sandy is howling like nobody's business in the background. But this is the rest of my fish too. I ate it and then I was like, oh, I didn't talk about it. 
but I'll leave the recipe um, in the description bar so you can uh, see the recipe. It's really, really good. I um, if I eat it tomorrow, I'll put um, I'll show it to you. But I'll leave the I'll leave the recipe a link to the recipe in the description bar. I was sitting in my bedroom and I was trying to figure out. Um, I just happened to look under um, one of the tables <laughs> and I saw this bag and I was like what in the world is this bag and so I looked at it and I was like oh this is my birthday haul stuff but this is not just stuff that I bought for my birthday this is also stuff that I picked up all through the summer and but I remember after the August purchases I said that I was not going to buy and I'm still dedicated to this buying um makeup until august of 2013 so i'm going to show you everything that i bought throughout the summer so this is basically any everything that i've purchased from maybe like may until august and so um i'll just show you what i got in the bag and some of the stuff you've seen if you saw some of my um uh vloggist videos because I think at one point there are some purchases that I bought from there in here so first is uh, the beauty blender and I bought the two beauty blender pack and it also comes with um, a cleanser so I bought that and I know I bought that for my birthday and then I also bought the Tarte Clean Slate um set and this has um I think just two face primers and then an eye primer and I bought that for my birthday this was part of an elf haul matter of fact I probably have a few elf products I have this and I've I've had these for a while and I've tried I have one of them and I hate these so I don't know what I'm gonna do with these because I hate them they're so terrible they're oily and weird and gross and yeah uh, this mascara by Tarte. I know I did a Tarte order. I did a huge Tarte order. And, what is this one? This one is the gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. So, ah, here's my Kindle, um, light. Yes, I'm so happy. Now I'm definitely ready for, um, I'm definitely ready for, uh, my light to go out. This was in my glossy box. I didn't buy this. This was in my glossy box. Probably my August glossy box. Um, this is another Tarte product. A lip surgeon lip luster. Um, NARS. I know I bought this this summer, but it wasn't during my birthday. Oh, the MAC face and body. Um, one of my MAC friends, I was... I was buying, I think it was, I was in there buying some stuff for my birthday, and I ran into one of my friends who works at MAC, and, ooh, I just saw something, ooh, never mind, okay, hold on, we'll get to it, and, um, she was, I was like, okay, I didn't really want to buy anything, but then I was like, okay, let me just buy something, and so, I was like, well, give me something interesting, show me something interesting and new that I'd want, and she said, um, if I was going to try anything right now, I would try out the um, face and body. And I told her that I was definitely interested in face and body, but I just never got around to it. And I have so many foundations, and I'll show you my foundation one day. And um, all my foundations, because I have a whole bunch of them. But she said the beauty of this one is that, I don't know if it's a new formula, but it's definitely a new size. These are considerably smaller, so they're more likely to be used up and so it's just a smaller size of the face and body and I am in nine so that's my color and face and body and so I have that um, another stuff I got from elf this is the HD under eye setting powder I found a corrector. I didn't know I had another corrector. I knew, see, that's that's how you know. That's how you know you have too much makeup. Because remember, I just went to Lord & Taylor and bought two of them because I thought I didn't have any. And I did have one. There you go. So that need, that definitely needs to go over there. Oh, NARS. 
Oh, this was the um, the first tinted moisturizer that I bought. This one's too light for me. This is Seychelles. It's too light for me, so I will probably just add this to something else. Um, I don't even remember when I bought this. I think I bought this at Sephora. But I know I don't know where the receipt is. If I find the receipt, I'll return it. But more than likely, I don't have the receipt. So I'll just do something else with it. This is the Tarte Amazon Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay um, Finishing Powder. And this is in bronze. I love this. I had one. I lost it. So I bought another one. I can't find it. It's probably in some stash somewhere. Another um, Tarte Mascara. Because I think I'd, I did do a Tarte um, haul. More stuff from my um, e.l.f. haul. The two, these are... Um, angled blush brushes and I haven't used them hmm. these look nice though so we'll try those out NARS what did I buy from NARS this is a soft touch shadow pencil in the color Calabria let's see what color this is right quick hmm it looks like it's like a deep purplish color. Hmm. Interesting. It looks pretty. It looks like something I would buy, but it's... Hmm. Anyway. Um, oh. The Too Faced Smoke Smoky Eye. Um, I know everyone likes the Urban Decay Smoke sm Smoked or whatever it is. I didn't like that palette. I thought it wasn't, it was weird smoky that wasn't good for my eyes. I like this one because they were not as dark. I don't know. These are just not as black. These are smoky that would look good on my eyes because I don't need darkness around my eyes because that just makes my eyes... I already have natural darkness, so I needed something that added some vibrancy but still could be kind of smoldering. And I thought this palette actually is the better one. Now, Too Faced also has two smoky eyes. They're smoky with the E and smoky without the E. Yeah, and I have the smoky with the E. And, yeah, so I know I bought this because when I fell in love with it, when I saw the colors, I was like, oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of smoky eye colors that I want. So, But I don't. I needed another palette. Like I needed a hole in my head, but whatever. NARS, what is this? Oh, a uh, backup of Palm Beach. So if I say I don't have another Palm Beach, somebody can say, um, yes you do. The um, NARS Makeup Removing Water. So this is probably more like my Bioderma and not like my, um, what is it? N more like my Bioderma and less like my um, Sephora. I probably couldn't use that to wash my face, but I can take makeup off with that. Um, I love NARS. I'll just tell you, if there was one um, line that I liked the most... And I, if I had to pick a makeup brand that I love more than anything, it would be NARS. And this one is a eyeshadow duo. I know that. Kalahari. Oh, yeah. I remember buying this. I remember buying Kalahari. Let's see what Kalahari looks like. That's Kalahari. I love me some NARS. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This is Kalahari. It's like, it, they, they uh, you can't really tell from this um, angle, but they're, it's like two brown, two goldy brown colors. This one's more golden brown. This is more like a, a bronzy, golden bronze color. It's really pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this. I love, 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 love. Love, 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 love. Brushes from e.l.f. These are the flat eyeliner brush. I love flat brushes to do my um, eyeliner. So that's perfect for me. 
Oh, I did try and pick, I picked up, I'm not going to say I tried, but I picked up the e.l.f. Um, baked bronzer in the color Los Cabos. So that looks nice. Because everybody's ranting and raving about it, so I decided to go ahead and get that. This is the Sephora um, birthday gift for this year. See, happy birthday. And it's just, it's two fresh um, lip duos. Is it two? Yeah, two. And so, yeah. As you see, I haven't even touched them. That's how you know you have too much makeup. When you have, you know, you just... I know what else is in this bag. Okay. This, oh yeah, I remember seeing this. This is in, um, I got this from Sally's. And this is the Queen Helene Hydrating Olive Oil Mask for Dry Skin. I, I saw this. I had never seen a mask for dry skin. And when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, I got to have this. So I bought that... This is a tart. I know, I know. Looking at this, that this must have been a sample they threw in there. This is the Hotel Eris um, bronzer from Tarte, and there you go. I don't really like Tarte's bronzers because I think they only work on lighter skin, and I think that's still too light for me. But anyway, it probably work as a contour though. And then last but not least is the um what is this oh the foreplay palette yeah the foreplay palette this is um orgasm deconstructed and i didn't i don't like orgasm i've never liked it i've never liked orgasm but for some reason I was attracted to this palette. That's just one NARS product that everybody else loves that I really just am not feeling. And it's this one. But anyways, um, that's right here. This is um, Orgasm. And then these are the colors that are supposed supposedly make up the color of Orgasm. It's a gold color. A kind of reddish color and then a pinky color and I th they say that this orgasm is different from the regular orgasm which is probably why I like this palette and you see I haven't tried it but only because I forgot all about this bag and now I'm looking at all this fun stuff that I forgot all about so please under please believe this will be in um, in um, my next few beauty videos and I'm, I have an idea for um, a monthly um, beauty video that I may start doing, but um, I'll talk about it later. But I'm excited about this. Oh my gosh, I love this. I do, I love it. I love it. So that was my birthday haul. And as you can see, for the most part, this is stuff that I need to use. I need to use. Ooh, can you hear that? Sandy is no joke. She is just trying to terrorize us. And I'm one of those weird people. I sit down, I sit, I'm sitting here the whole time. Like, oh my God, did I close my sunroof? I don't even think I opened my sunroof. But the problem is, I may have opened it. I just hope I closed it. Nine times out of ten, I did. I always do that. I always think, oh, did I close my sunroof? Oh, did I lock my doors? And then I did, but, you know, because I'm weird like that, and I'll turn around and go back and try it and test it out, and, you know, I'm tempted to go outside and check, but it's a little too late. It's been raining for over 24 hours, so at this point, if I, if I happen to have left my sunroof open, it's too late. <laughs> so anyways, um... Did I buy anything from Chanel? Obviously I did, because I have a Chanel bag. Um, I do have some Chanel stuff. That's, I think that's it. I think I have some more Chanel stuff. If I find my Chanel stuff that I bought this summer, because I know I bought some Chanel this summer. If I can find it, I will put, I will add this to the video. Okay, this is my makeup collection. 
see how ridiculous it is? See, it's huge. It's ridiculous. It has all kinds of stuff. Um, this is all my, my, um, foundations. Yeah. Even though, believe it or not, I use most of these. It's not all at once. Um, these are all my blushes. I don't have as many blushes, which is good, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> these are all my eyeshadows. These are, this is just my NARS collection alone. It's ridiculous. These are all MAC eyeshadows back there. And these are all lip products. This is not my only lip product, but these are lip products. Then, of course, you guys have already seen my, um, the stuff that I'm using currently. And I'll probably change that up in a few. And then, of course, you've seen all my brushes, my mascaras. These are my dirty brushes. And then this drawer, this is my only other drawer full of makeup. And this is mm, just a random bunch of stuff. This is more lip stuff. This is a moisturizer. These are my multiples and lipstick and some eyeshadows. These are eyeshadows. I know I bought this at um, Chanel. This is really pretty. I love this. Um, more mascaras, more eyeshadows, a brow gel kit. It's kind of bad. But anyways, um, I am, like I said, I'm on a makeup no-buy. And believe it or not, I've used up a lot of stuff. And I plan on using up even more stuff. And so we're going to see how much makeup we can use up in, at this point, what, about uh, 10 more months? So it should be fun. No makeup. Not one bit of makeup. And I still haven't bought any. The only thing I buy now is skincare, and if I run out of something, I will buy something. I will buy stuff. Like, I thought I didn't have a corrector, buy brown corrector. Other than that, I wouldn't have bought that either. But since I did, that'll be the end of that. So, wish me luck, and I will probably be doing a series on um, my reducing my makeup collection what is this oh these are eye palettes oh, i forgot about this mascara oh, i bought this mascara but this wasn't was it around my birthday no this was earlier than that this was earlier in the summer this girl on um, my um, mascara that i wanted these are um palettes you guys have seen me my sleek palettes just stuff i need to use and i think it's because i have so much i just don't use it so it's time to start using it. So we're on a we're on a mission. We're on a mission. <sighs> yep. These are all my clean brushes. See how see how many they are. Even though, like I said, I've used them. I use them most of them. And I'm gonna go through it. Um, there's a YouTuber that's doing a decluttering her makeup collection video video a set of a series of videos, and it's Pink So Foxy. And she's doing a really, really, really good um, makeup decluttering video. And I would love to do something like that. The only problem is um, I'd have to find, like, um, a woman shelter to um, donate it to. Because I have a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff I've never touched that I could easily give to somebody who definitely needs it. So, oop, did you see my lights flicker? Okay. It's time to get off here because I've posted my video for day 28. Hopefully day 29 will go up tomorrow. Hopefully I have electricity. But if not, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, let me go. Good night.